The Yoga for Classrooms uh, mission is to transform educational environments through secular, evidence-informed yoga and mindfulness education and support to empower students and educators to create positive, peaceful, productive classrooms that support exceptional learning and a lifetime of physical, social, and emotional health and wellness. Really seeing the whole child. So the Yoga for Classrooms curriculum addresses the whole child, focuses on social, emotional, and attentional self-regulation, it's grounded in secular mindfulness and yoga practices. This is mentioned a couple times because across our country, a couple times, uh, yoga has been misinterpreted and thrown out of the school because of it being introduced in a way that wasn't accessible to everyone. Um, there was, even last March in Georgia, they no longer could do mandala coloring in their classrooms because that was religious and it was a you know big big thing. It was a whole write up in the uh, Washington Post last March about about a uh, school in Georgia. Um, and a couple of years ago, like five years ago, there was a court a uh, case that went to the Supreme Court in California about a uh, curriculum that was yoga in their classrooms, and the Supreme Court ruled that they could continue to do the curriculum in the classroom. It was not a religion, but there is fear around that in our culture, that we're doing something that is not accessible to everyone. Is So things to think about, I never do this, I don't say namaste, you know, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not chanting, I'm not saying Sanskrit words, um, trying to make it be uh, the language people understand and feel safe using. Is there a question? Uh, Develop to systematically cultivate well-being, resilience, and lifelong learning, and promote a peaceful, productive, learning-ready classroom. Specifically designed for space and time crunch classrooms, encourages positive school climate and community building, simple, accessible, and easy to use, cost-effective, sustainable, and far-reaching. And really what might find that you saw in the video too, it goes home into the families. You know, so if you can get the parents involved and the parents understanding, the kids can be teaching the parents at home and the parents can be reinforcing maybe in their own homes um, how to use some of this material. So on each one of these cards, it has, let's use this one like that, slippery, countdown to calm card. It has at the top kind of what attributes, what kind of benefits you can kind of feel from it. This is saying calm, focus, center, release frustration, alleviate anxiety. And on the back, it has a whole description on how to do it. And also there's categories at the bottom that kind of add some um, new ideas, how to use the breath, maybe how to incorporate it into your classroom and uh, include it in your academic learning. Um, like this one on the back says you could create a breath log, so you could make it be a graphing project. Um, how often do they use it, and then keep track of it, you know, um, and how do they feel when they were doing the breath. Um, so there's 67 cards, but there's all together there's 200 um, beneficial classroom practices that mention on these cards. And ways to tie it in. As you were saying, it's really important to tie it into what they're already learning, you know, to integrate it into the other material. <coughs> 